Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In past few video tutorials, we had discussed about the uh, some of the classes which belongs to the atomic package. Uh, we had discussed about the double accumulator, uh, long accumulator and long adder. But still this class is called long, long, sorry, double adder is pending. So let's, in this video tutorial, I'm going to explore you what is double adder and how we can work with double adder. Uh, so let's try to understand double adder through an example. So here is uh, Eclipse. I have created a project with name double adder demo. So let's create a first of all interface with name double adder service. Uh, sorry, this is pack, this interface name and package. I'm going to specify com dot infotech dot I would see adder service okay so let's create this interface in this interface I'm gonna add three meters so long so any return type you can take here I'm taking as a long so long I would say uh, increment just I'm going to implement a counter some uh, that counter will be implement, I mean updated by the multiple threads and the final value we should get the correct value so if uh, our counter is going to update by multiple threads then uh, uh, we'll make sure that uh, any update is not going to override with other thread so that's the scenario we are taking over here so first method I'm going to add long increment then I would say long decrement decrement and a method is will listen as the final counter value for that I'm going to add a method is called get value okay now let's create a implementer of this guy so implementer of this interface so let's create new class and IMPL package IMPL and this is going to implement this interface which we have just created so as this interface is implement sorry this implementer class is going to implement this interface so uh, methods which is available in this interface has to implement this class okay so let's implement this method so in this class I'm going to use private and double adder my machine is a bit slow so I want to use double adder so which belongs to the concre uh, con uh, concurrent dot atomic package and let's give the variable name as double adder, adder itself and we can create an instance of double adder by calling its default constructor so if you look at the JDK then saying that creates a new adder with initial sum of 0 right so now adder I'm going to call within the increment and here we have a method is called we have several method right one of the method is called add right so here this takes a double value so here I'm going to pass 1.0 so just I want to for in every call I want to increment this uh, double adder by one and this will return the final value and as we have given the return type as in long so we have a method is called long value similarly I'm going to write method decrement so here I want to deduct every time one so and uh, here finally a method is responsible to uh, return a uh, final counter so that will return the double adder dot value so we have completed this class now control shift o for organizing port and let's create a task class so i would say so task class package so i would say this 
interface will end with the task and I will create a class is called increment uh, task class and this is going to implement something is called callable interface so let's select this callable and this will return a long value so let's create this class so this class we have just created now next class I'm going to create something is called decrement task decrement task and then again again this class is going to implement callable interface and call level of long I'm going to take okay now in this class in the, these two task class which implements callable interface we are going to make use of private and we have just created a interface is called double adder interface so I'm going to declare this interface type over here and I would say double adder service and second parameter I'm going to specify private long uh, something is called number of times and let's create a let's import this interface now let's create let's create a uh, constructor to initialize this instance variable so here I have created a constructor now let's complete this method so here I'm going to apply a for loop uh, for loop which will iterate this for loop till number of times you and this number times while creating the object of this increment task will pass and here we have a method is called increment so here within this we can call a method is called increment right so this will increment the value in the so if you look into the uh, implementer class then this will increment the value in double adder itself right so this is going to increment double adder itself now finally you can uh, return the final count by calling long value sorry so final value so get something is called get value right so almost similar implementation in decrement task so just I'm going to copy this code I'll paste it over here uh, let's change the name of the constructor so almost rep replica of uh, increment task and here instead of calling increment we'll call decrement so because this is this task has been designed to decrement the counter and uh, now let's create a uh, client program so I'm going to create a client program which will end with client and I would say client test class which will have a main method and from here I'm going to create an instance of first uh, this is an interface right and we have implemented of this interface so we cannot create object of interface but we can create a reference of it right and here I have created a reference of interface and we are going to assign object of its implementer right so object of its implementer we have double adder service IM here right now let's do import and now I'm going to create two tasks right uh, so we have a first increment task so let's create an increment task object first so I would say uh, task 1 and equal to new increment sorry so let's create sorry in increment task and this is asking me to supply this reference and number of times here and number of times I'm going to supply uh, 50 lakhs and this is type of long right now let's create object of decrement task decrement task and I would say task 2 and let's instantiate this class 
increment task and here number of times I'm going to pass 3 lakhs so let's say 5 lakhs okay now let's create a list of call level object list of call level so I'm going to copy from here and paste it here and I would say this is a task list list task list list you can say sorry task list and you can take here any implementer of list so here I'm going to take linked list press ctrl shift o for organize import now we have embedded in this task list we can add our both task right so we have a list is having a add method and here sorry list is having add method and this two tasks we can add over here sorry and we can add second task as well so we have added these two tasks now these two tasks let's create a executor framework executor let's make use of executors and executors is having a lot of method is static method to create the thread pool so i'm going to use this uh, new cast thread pool so this gives us the instance of service executor service so let's say executor service and executor service as a method api is called invoke all right so that I'm going to use so in book all and we are going to pass this task list and this will invoke our all tasks this method throw some exception check exception so just I have declared now let's iterate this task and this returns you the future object and here future has a method is called get so let's call get method again get method throws two exceptions so just I'm going to declare over here so let's declare this method and finally we'll try to get the counter value so we have a reference of interface and here we have we have declared one method which returns us the final counter value and let's try to run and see how what output we are, we are getting so we are getting 45 lakhs right so what we have given over here in first task increment task we have uh, we are going to supply 50 lakhs and decrement task we are going to supply 5 lakhs so 50 lakhs minus 5 lakhs that's why we are getting the counter value 45 lakhs right so i hope you enjoyed uh, learning how we can make use of the uh, double adder class so here just i have taken an example of uh, a counter right and that counter is basically getting updated by the two different threads right that's why we have created two class and both class implements call level interface this is one of the way to uh, create thread in java 5 onwards so i'm expecting you have knowledge how to create thread using uh, uh, call level interface right and this is pretty straightforward i hope you enjoyed learning this video this code i'm going to upload on the uh, github and github location i'm going to specify in that video description itself so if you like this video then please provide some comments or feedback and that's very valuable for me and uh, if you look into the i mean uh, double adder class then there are some more api i'm expecting you can explore yourself so like uh, you have a sum method so this will basically return to the count itself final count reset so if you want to reset this double adder and if you want to uh, again reuse it then of course you can reset so this will reset with the value sum of value zero so sum then reset so this will return you the current sum and then after it, that will reset sum followed by reset so two string that is nothing but the this is the string representation of double adder and if you want to see the value in double or long or int or float then these are the methods are available over here right so this method is basically mutable so you cannot use in uh, while uh, creating a map you can cannot use as a key so these things you will have to keep in mind so thanks a lot for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial